Hey everyone, it's Skylar. Welcome back to the channel. How are you all doing? I hope you do very well. Firstly, <laughs> I'm going to be rendering a couple of videos tonight. I've been doing editing for the past two nights. Yeah, because I have a very special... But I'm going to do it in like three parts. A pack of me video. So watch out for that on my channel. Um, I'm doing a select haul, which I've just got to charge my camera up to carry on with that and I've got a few other bits so this will be what vlog 158 yes I'm back to doing my vlogs the way I do it Um, I just want to give you a couple of heads up Um, firstly if I haven't already this is very very important Um, for people that I know that have ordered in the past the movie The Orphan Killer, talk. They are finally released after about three years. About that, um, two three years. Talk two, The Orphan Killer two. Now, as a fan of this indie horror film, I had to get the second one. But bearing in mind, international shipping is not cheap. And I've just checked my bank statement <laughs> and I'm in bad jail because we have to slap me on the wrist because I usually only pay up to ten pounds. <laughs> I'm saying this in pounds, not dollars. I may push it to thirteen if it's a, a newer Blu-ray, but that's my limit. <laughs> I've never paid any higher, even when I've bidded on Blu-rays on eBay and stuff like that, or ordered off Amazon. I'm just a bargain hunter that way. And I do have, so hopefully when that comes in the post, I will do that as a separate unboxing for you guys. But that will be around mid-October, so watch out for that video. But anyway, I wanted to just say this. If any of my friends from the UK do want to order uh, The Orphan Killer, uh, can I get on it through this? I'm just borrowing somebody else's phone just to see if I can get on it via my Gmail. Never know. No, I'll have to get the tablet because it has my, and then I'll show you. But getting back to that, um, you're all gonna like go, Skylar. What the fuck did you pay that mum amount for? Well. My last steel book was 20 and it was like 25 with the shipping, which I wasn't really bothered about. But this time, number two, it comes out to about 40 pounds. Naughty Skylar, but I had to have it. So Stephen and Laurie and any of my US friends that have ordered the offer and kill it in the past, to let you guys know top two is out go and buy it um so it's like comparison to your first one because i'll never sell mine because mine's autographed and now my second one's now autographed so they're one of my things um today hasn't been too bad i have been in a little bit of pain um Currently watching Brogan Tate, I have to put the sound down because I got freaking copyrighted the other night for watching fucking franchise kicks. Because the sound was on. I'm gonna be rendering some videos soon. So it's gonna be another late one for me. I've got my detox pads on from last night, but you have to put socks on. I'll, I'll show you. So that's what they look like. I know, I've, I've only got diddy feet. 
uh, I've got a packing with me video part two gonna come soon so it should be three parts um, I think that's it uh, there's not much more else to say I'm just I'm just actually drained from the past few days to be honest um, you know I have something playing on my mind big time and one of the reasons why I haven't been active on YouTube for the past couple of weeks, I know I've discussed the health problem. Um, I don't really, I'll just say this. I was rushed to hospital and I was kind of bad, really bad. And... I got out of hospital not long before. That's why I wasn't like posting stories all the time. And then when stories I was posting, they were like from pictures from like a few weeks before, quotes, whatever, because I didn't want people to see my face, see how much of a state I was in all the time. And it just wasn't right. Even people that are my best friends don't even know the situation um i'm not ready to talk about because people will start like judging me saying stuff like don't oh it's your fault you shouldn't have done that you shouldn't have done this blah 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 at the end of the day all i can say is i don't know whether um how can i explain it I don't know whether it was planned by someone that's supposed to be my friend or not but something bad happened and I was in hospital for a few weeks and it doesn't help with somebody that has <laughs> fibromyalgia that was in more pain And then they said to me in hospital, oh, do you know you have fibromyalgia? And I was like, yeah, I found out like two weeks before. And they were like, yeah, you have fibromyalgia. And I was like, yeah, shit. Then I comes out of hospital. Then two, three, four days later, I had bladder surgery. And I am just sort of recovering from that ordeal. I'm still a bit sore, but... It's all right. Um, and I can be open and honest about this as well. Um, I see a psychotherapist because if people are new to my channel, over 12 months ago, I was involved in a nasty car accident, which I suffered nerve damage from the left side of my body, which result also resulted in me in using crutches. And with the fibromyalgia, it's a lot worse. And that's why I'm on for crutches for the foreseeable future. But I'm sitting down now, I can, I hobble around the house, I hold on to stuff so I'm okay. But unfortunately, everything sort of affected my balance. So I'm like in a total mess. Um, and it's just so hard because like, I want to try and do everything as normal as possible. I'm holding my stone, protection stone. Yeah, I believe in all this kind of, as people might say, oh, you believe in that crap. I don't, I do believe in like healing and all that because it's my job <laughs> with me being a massage therapist. I like to heal people. But the thing is, Oh, you are like to heal people, but why haven't you healed yourself? <laughs> that wasn't my fault. It was like, the doctor told me I've got this and the hospital reconfirmed it and stuff like that. And I just want to say this. Some days I'm in that much pain. I don't want to talk to anybody. I just want to like concentrate on getting my pain managed and I'm not get at people I just like to be 
on my own. I have nothing against anybody. I just have something against one person right now. Um, but I don't know if they know who it is and blah, blah, blah. But it's something to do with what's happened and stuff like that. But I'm not getting into it. I've just explained I was in hospital. But I'm not saying why I was in hospital. But I just said it was in a bad way. But anyway. Stones just dropped. Um, so yeah. I, I, there are days where I just don't want to be around people. I want to be on my own. Or, uh, I, I even feel low on some days. Really, really low. Like, I feel like if I'm alone, then I'll be okay. Um, and I just want to be alone because I feel if I can manage myself being alone, then I can manage to reduce the pain. Because with Suffering of fibromyalgia, the pain's not going to go away as long as you can try and control it. You can try and have a life that you can have as best as you can. Even my whole diet now has had to change. Um, I'm eating a lot of, let's just say, a little bit more healthier. But tonight, I kind of went downhill and. <laughs> Bought a chicken wrap from McDonald's, which wasn't good, <laughs> but it was only a snack wrap one, and some coffee and stuff like that, and sometimes I just feel like, like what's going on with myself, and I did do a bit of online shopping tonight, I did put an Amazon order in, it sounds really mad. <laughs> But I've got two of the same movie, but I'm putting one of them in my big contest. And I'm actually going to keep the DVD, not the Blu-ray. So the Blu-ray will be in the contest. And I have two of the movie. But I love this film. I don't know what it is about this film. I'm not going to say what it is. I'll do an unboxing for you guys. Um, but I love this film. Um, I think it seems to have why I'm kind of obsessed with ice. <laughs> yeah. Then you'll understand what film I really like. It's like, if I was to put it in, if I was to do like 31 days of favourite movies, this would be one of them. I don't know if I've already done, I'd have to do another one, like a reboot and just add a few more. Because I love, I miss doing these videos and it's just so hard because not every day is going to be an easy day for me to do a YouTube video. Or every day is going to be, I'm going to feel alright. There are days where I'm not going to be up to doing anything, where I'm not going to be able to talk to people, where... Or even if I have to go shopping, <laughs> people are messaging me every five minutes, phoning me up every five minutes. I understand that. But I need to do, go and do shopping to try and get healthy foods, to save money on my shopping app. And to be pleasing today, I need to tell you some guys. I got some money back on my shopping app and I was totally blown away. I was like, Wow, this is so cool. But of course, what did they go and do? Go and spend it on some <laughs> clothes from Select. And get a few bits. And I do have emergency money just in case I do need it. But so far, I don't need it. But if I do need it. I'll use it. But I'm alright so far. Um, uh, I'm just... I am getting a bit tired. and getting a bit stressed. But again, if you're wondering what button I'm playing with, I will be... I'm going to do another plug. <laughs> um, it's this. <laughs> I don't 
don't know if you can see it. I can just place it. I go like that. That's better. That's it. This is the Sun Seeker letter pin. Um, from the group on Facebook. Uh, basically, if you're a member, you can get like membership cards, the badge. I got the badge. I got. I've got the luggage tag. I've got like near enough the whole way, apart from the T-shirt. Um, basically, members get like little discounts off certain bars, certain offers, wherever they go and a lot of people just they won't don't want to carry the membership card but they'll carry the bands. I've got like a wristband as well with Sunty Colour on it. So I'll be using that. I'd probably use that for my ice cream because <laughs> I love my ice cream and there's a shop in Coletta de Fusta where I can just oh man <laughs> basically Say like you wanted a small ice cream, you can get it upgraded to a medium with the if you just show your wristbands. Or if you want a medium you can get a large for like that price, which is really, really good. And then you get like certain discounts off certain stuff, which I think's really good. And yeah. I'm just basically just plodding along. Just trying to figure out with seven days to go before I go away because like this time next week I'm going to be asleep because <laughs> I'm going to be so tired after a long day um, because I am going to be, I will I'm going to make sure I'm packed by half past nine, ten o'clock, have a shower, the Wednesday night, I've got to be up for free, get my rucksack ready, because I'm only taking a rucksack, because I'm on my clutches obviously, um, got to be at the airport by half six. I've got to go to the information desk where I can, this, over the special assistants. Then I've got to sort out my special assistants. They'll get me the wheelchair to Ryanair desk. <laughs> yeah, I'm going with it. I'm a dreaded Ryanair. I'm flying to one destination, then staying there for five hours. I'll explain more when I get there. And then going along to my final destination. But it worked out a lot more cheaper to do it that way than it was to di fly direct to where I'm going. Well, obviously, you guys know where I'm going, but I don't really want to talk about it. And I'm trying, because with this, why I'm, why I'm going is I just... I, I don't want to be seem to be like nasty or anything, but I just want to really say this. But I want to be on my own and I want to spend time with one of my bestest friends in the whole wide world. He knows who he is. That's it. I don't want to be around anyone else. I'm not saying it in a bad way or a negative way. I just, because I've got a lot of thinking I need to do while I'm up there. Um, as it's just, I've just got to think about a lot of things, um, and I don't even know about the vlogging situation. If, I will say this, if I decide to go on one crutch and I can manage for a few hours around with one crutch, whether it's like for a taxi to go to where I need to go. Um, I'll vlog. Because at least for the first day, I'll vlog. I'll vlog that first day. Second day, we'll see. And it's just, it's just seeing how, how I'm going to be. 
because it is hard and a lot of people like don't understand but I'm just trying my best to just like plod things through like I want I just want to be honest I, as I said I just want to spend time with like one other person besides myself um that's like daily but if I do go out of a night time I will go to collector and see I'll mainly go to like two bars maybe three which is tropical revival flower of Scotland that's it they're the only bars that I like to go to because I feel safe in them and they're nice people and I can do like a quick vlog here and there to say but I'll probably do that on my phone um, and like certain food places but other than that I'm not gonna like venture around to like all different restaurants go out my way to restaurants and see people and if I am going to different parts I'll only and if I'm that desperate I'll just go to New York at CNA possibly a shoe shop back on the bus home that's it I'm not going to be going around any restaurants, supermarkets there, whatever. I know that my fav one of my favourite supermarkets will be closed two days after I land, so the Saturday or the Sunday. I will go to Atlantico to do my shopping. But I will say this, <laughs> I know I'm going to go on. There is a restaurant that I do want to try and it is Atlantico. I just want to see what it's like. Um, it's called Shivam. I've heard people like go on about it. Like all the time saying how good the food is. But I will try that. So anyway, I'm going to end this vlog now before I get copyrighted again. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe, or like, share, yeah, turn on the notification bell and get a brand new video from me if anyone can. So stay bored, have a pleasant evening, and I'll see you soon. Ciao, ciao, bye.